Today I'm going to be showing you an exploit you can use to kill the two Chainsaw Lady battle taking absolutely zero damage guaranteed. Also how you can beat the first section of chapter 6 taking zero damage. You're going to have to be a little careful but this will make the battle nine times easier. So what we want to do is just alert the section. Now this is just a standard save that I happen to have on this chapter from doing videos. But this works on professional. It works on every difficulty. So immediately after we get the alarm, we're going to come to here. We are invincible while we open this door. Now we're going to use this door as a choke point. We're going to kill enemies as they come up. Now I'm not going to kill everybody because I do want to show you. So they will occasionally walk right past this door in an attack motion, but once they get past it, they don't know what to do. So the big dude can do his spinning charge, and his spinning charge can go past the point that we're using as a kill box, safe zone, whatever. So you will have to evade that attack, but once you evade it and you're on this side, he will stand still and do nothing and then turn around and walk away. So as you can see, right at the point, they can attack. Now let me get him to do his move. Come over here. Now he's going to do a charge. We're going to evade that attack. But now, hello. Oh, he actually kicked me because he, he usually will do absolutely nothing. I'm so shocked he actually attacked. There he goes. <laughs> I, that's the first time I've ever seen him attack a second time on the other side of the door. So you might actually want to use the slightest bit of caution after the first attack. But you can see just how effective that is. Now I'm going to show you how to beat the two chainsaw lady battle taking no damage. In order to do this absolutely no damage you will need one flashbang or one frag grenade so immediately throw a flashbang or a frag grenade it doesn't matter we just have to knock him down then we wait for this dude to open the door and quickly take him out immediately come around this corner we're going to have one more dude you can evade this attack or you can stun him for a second we just need to get past him so now our choke point is going to be right here. This is an even better choke point than our other one. Once we reach this point, they... Why is this... Wow, that dude just ran mad far. Um, like I said, if they are in the middle of an animation, they will continue past the point. But the Chainsaw Lady, because she uh, doesn't have that long of an attack... We can really bait her. So you can play with them a little bit when they're at this point. If they do their charge or any enemies get close, just keep pulling back. Um, shit. Yeah, let's pull back this way, the actual way. Do be careful when you're backing up. Let me just show you the Chainsaw Lady, how easy this one actually is. So we'll just bait her back. And we kind of want her to get close. Or like do an attack animation because when we get to this point they stay still for like two seconds giving you easy crit shots insanely easy crit shots and then immediately once they go away a little bit you're going to come back in to the point where you feel safe put as much damage as you can as you back up and just to show you this baiting her back one more time We kind of want her to do an attack right about this range because that range will put us at a point when she stops, we have a very easy crit shot on her. And that is how you beat the two chainsaw lady battle, no damage guaranteed, and how you can very easily beat the first half of chapter six as well. Use the same strategy if you get overrun with the basic dudes. You can easily go back to that checkpoint or choke point and the basic enemies will follow the same principle. Once they do an attack, even if it puts them past the point that I showed you, they're just not going to attack. 
If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.